So, um, uh, Hayley, do you want to just um, give us your final words on this? And I wish we could go longer, but we can't, unfortunately. Yeah, no worries. Look, um, all eyes are on New South Wales at introducing the law first um, right across the country. Uh, I have to say that the first exposure draft has not got it right. It's not even close. Uh, we have until Wednesday to provide feedback and there are fundamental problems with this draft bill. Uh, we would urge the New South Wales government to reconsider the time frame uh, and we are well and truly ready to work, work with you alongside you to make sure that this is an effective law with all the systems that wrap around it. Nicole, we've got 10 seconds to get your response as well. Um, well, when it comes to disabled people, it's understanding all um, the areas in which we and, and the environments in which we do encounter coercive control and abuse and understanding that coercive control is a form of every form of uh, fam domestic and family violence. It is not something that is necessarily segregated on it on, on its own. And um, and finally, is that, you know, criminalising alone is not something that is going to be acting as a deterrent. And that is something that you, you know, is, has been noted overseas. And that there has to be other options around, you know, shifting of community attitudes and looking at issues around gender inequality um, and, and looking at how disabled people are depicted in courtrooms and how unsafe they are and the ways in which we are spoken about as well. Thank you. And Brian, just quickly. I think the system isn't broken. I don't think the system has ever worked. So we need a new system. And if it's going to bring in coercive control, that has to be operationalised and defined very, very clearly. And then, of course, we have to do the education of courts mm -hmm. and police, etc. And then what do we do with those convicted? There have to be resources um, available to deal with the aftermath. Sorry to wrap it up, but we have to go to a break now. Thank you all so much for your time. And if this story has raised any concerns, you can contact the Domestic Violence Helpline on 1800 Respect. After the break, Cowboys coach Todd